Hello. Those of you who don't know who I am, I am Sherry. That's right, and I apologize for taking some time to get back to all of you. I want to take this time right now to thank you for your well wishes and your kind words. Those of you who sent those to me via email uh, or via telephone call, I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I'm sad to say that this has been a very hard time for a lot of people, um, including me and my family, okay? It's been very difficult and tumultuous, a large amount of stress and heartache, okay? I should have beat the shit out of that girl. I really should have. Um, I should have just given her a taste of what the world is really like. If you don't have thick skin. Okay. I have been in this world for some time now, and you cannot be a wussy, okay? You cannot have your friends huddle you into a corner and tell you what to do and how to act and how to live. It don't work like that, okay? Now, does everyone realize that this is my job. Hello. Am I good? Yeah. My name is Sherry. Those of you who don't know me, most everyone does. Um, so I'm really excited to see y'all. Uh, I'm sorry it's taken me a few days to come out of hiding, but um, I've been very busy, hard at work, okay, in my studio lab. Uh, Get my video ready um, to share with the world so everyone can hear my voice, okay? Because my voice is crucial, okay? I'm not a blogger, thank God, thank God. And I never will be unless I really get that desperate, okay? Um, the day that I'm wearing camo pants and blogging <laughs> with the studded belt... That's the day that I hope somebody just takes me out and just whips me to death. Okay? Number one. Gee, that's for you. Okay, gee, if you see me wearing that or doing that, sitting on my computer blogging, that's when I want you to just, like, give me a spinal tap. Okay? When I'm not looking. Just take me out with a cold one, gee. Those of you who have been writing me very nasty emails, I want you to know... I don't read them. I have an intern do it. And if it's really uh, horrifically mean, they go straight to the garbage. Um, if it's something that is really worthwhile, it's going to go on my website, on my love-hate mail. So don't think you're going to get away with it. Not to mention, I've been at the police station all day. That's right, Klaus. Did you hear that? Police. Okay? I've gotten the big po popos involved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. And you know what? I feel very invigorated by it because I have never, ever, ever had to be in this situation before. Okay? And some of you out there are saying, oh, Sherry, Sherry or Terry, you got yourself into this. But you know what? They are right and they are also wrong. Okay? So to move on with the subject, my movie is coming. Okay, it's coming. It'll be up in the next 24 hours. Stay tuned. Okay, to me. Stay tuned to me. Okay? Stay tuned to this face here. Okay? Uh, not only that, but it's going to be really good. Okay? We're just doing some edits. Okay? We're tr making Georgia look even eviler than she was. <laughs> That's right. We are doing some edits. We are making the video really um, marketable. Okay? I am planning on calling Michael Moore to give me publicity and production. Uh, production money, actually. Um, we are doing a few doctorates. We're doctoring it a little bit. Um, we're making Georgia look more eviler than she did. Okay? 
in the video itself. Um, and we are doing some things like I've gotten, I've gained a little weight in the past month. We're just photoshopping me a little bit because I know this is going to end up in a lot of big magazines, hopefully Vogue. Um, so with all that set aside, I think the movie's going to be a hit, okay? And it's already stirring up a lot of press, a lot of controversy, right? As I, as I do, just speak in my mind that I do, okay? When I go into old people's homes, this don't ever seem to happen, right? When I go into children's hospitals and they're sick in their beds, this stuff don't ever seem to happen, okay? This happens when I'm around a bunch of selfish, starving artists. That's when this stuff happens. And you know why? Because you're all a bunch of art fags. Okay? You're not only art fags, but you're selfish little spoiled brats. And you need to wake up and smell the GD coffee. Okay? And I'm not talking about Starbucks. I'm talking about Dunkin' Donuts. Okay? Or McDonald's. 99 cent cup. The real deal. Now, some of you may be saying, but be Sherry, you are an artist. And you are right. I do paint. Okay? I do color by number. I do a lot of stuff like that. But I certainly will not group myself in the category of Georgia, Sagri, Satan. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call her, Georgia Satan. And Sarvia, Salavia, Salivia. <laughs> Sarvia Larvia. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you. You know what? Because you are a parasite. And you, you know, you are like the pussy of a parasite. You are not even, you can't even own up to being a parasite. Okay? And I don't have my nails on right now, so I don't want to show my hands so much. You too are... You know, I'm sure you're fine women deep down. I'm sure I could have a cup of tea with you. Not that you'd want to have one with me. Um, however, I think you've got some issues you need to work out. Okay, Georgia? I think you you were out of line. You came to attack me. Okay? You came to attack me. You came to physically hurt me. I would have never laid a hand on you because I wouldn't want to break a nail. And I, frankly, you were, you smelled. <laughs> <laughs> You smelled, and the reason I know you smelled is because you were so close to me, okay, uh, in my line of, of smell, three feet from me about the whole time, and your friends, um, all I have to say to them is they need to grow some ovaries, okay, uh, they really do, they need to grow some ovaries, and if you're going to call yourself a lesbian, then let's grow some, let's grow some kahunis, <laughs> Let's grow some kahunis down there, okay? And I'm not talking about testicles. I'm talking about bigger ovaries, okay? And bigger tatas. <laughs> Let's grow something real here, okay? Because you know what? That's not feminist, Sarvia Larvia. It's not feminist to tell me that my set is over when my set clearly weren't over, okay? My set weren't over, okay? It were not over. And even, what what is his name again? The man's name. Klaus, Klaus, as for you, you know, I don't even care necessarily about you or what you did. I have to say, though, real quick, it reminded me of the scene in The Wizard of Oz when the wizard is speaking through his little telecom and he gets uncovered by Toto and he thinks he is still covered. That is what you were like, Klaus. Okay, you were a ding-dong head from Germany. You know what? You and George are a little European girl. Can go have at it in the back room. Were you trying to protect her? You do some toe-toe touching in the closet? I don't think that's legal. And believe you me, I told the police that today. I did. I told them that's what I thought was going on. That you two were having a love affair. Okay? Because you're both Euros. That's disgusting. And you blame it on me, Sherry. It's just unbelievable, you know, and this whole thing is called art. If I would have known that I was doing the show at PS1, which I did, but if I would have known your strategy, clown, I would have 
And we think, what would I have done? <laughs> well, I probably snuck into your office and written some dirty letters from your email account because I probably know your password. Clowns rules. <laughs> Clouds rules. <laughs> anyway, I would have done something like that. Something horrendous. Okay? Maybe smeared lipstick all over your office. Um, something like Clouds has no doggy. Or, you know, um, Clouds is German. Or Klaus isn't German. Or Klaus is Japanese. Okay? How would you like that? Me calling you short. Okay? Okay? So I want everyone to know. Don't, don't bunch me with these bunch of fools. Okay? And also, this is the next thing. Don't get, on, don't get to blogging and say you are me. You people saying, pretending you're me, spelling my name wrong or not, you are not me. I would not partake in the nonsense, okay? I do video upload web blogs. I don't do writing web blogs, okay? Big difference, okay? Big difference. If you have anything you need to talk to me about, give me a call on my cellular, okay? Send me an email, okay? Send me a Twitter message. Do not write things about me that are not factual, Sarbia Larvia. Okay? When you tell your girlfriend she wants to come to another show of mine and yell throughout the entire thing, bring her GD blowhorn so I can hear her a little louder. Okay? That's right. You heard me. Let me say it again. Hey, Sarvia Larvia. Tell your girlfriend. That's right. I say GF, girlfriend. That's right. You're a lesbian. Own up to it. Own up to the femininity of it. Okay? That's four brass in that bunch and two totos. You got two vaginas. Okay? Two vaginas in the bang gang. I only have one. You're supposed to be double the woman. Well, y'all were negative minus 40 the woman. Okay? You really were. You were like basically taking every woman out of the PS1 museum minus 20 more women. Because you were so manly. How you acted. Aggressive. <coughs> mean. Hurtful. Okay? Telling me my set was over. How do you think that made me feel? It made me feel like I was crap. It made me feel like my show was worthless. Okay? That's right. I think I brought up a lot of valid points here today. Just remember, my video's coming. Okay, and I have a lot of big people behind it, like Ford Linger <laughs> and Queen Latifah, my mother, my father, okay? So please, if there's one message that I can give you tonight, I think it would be two things. Number one. If your name is Sarvia Larvia, stay out of my way. Number two, if you're a lesbian, try to own up to it. Try to be a full lesbian. Okay, not half aggressive man and half lesbian. Okay, number three, you know, I, I'm very thoughtful about what I say and what I do. And I've never been in an actual fist fight. Ever, okay? Um, I don't think masturbating in front of someone is an aggressive act. I think it's an act of pleasure. Hopefully for that person as well as the person who's doing it, clearly. When I was masturbating, only one person was getting pleasure, and that was Raula. Hey, Raula, I miss you. Okay, we've got to talk again tomorrow on the phone. Georgia, my advice for you is speak to a therapist. Okay? Get your emotions out. Okay? I think you need to start with painting. 
maybe a little bit of gesture drawing, figure drawing, and then work your way up, let's say, to explorative movement or creative movement. I think you've moved too quickly to performance art. From what I can see, performance art is for some pretty weird people, okay? I think you need to take it a little slower, okay? I think your work is not developed enough. I think it doesn't have the sensibility that, say, somebody like um, Usher has, okay? Or um, Ann Ryan King, okay? I think you need to take it easy in the next couple days, and I think you need to um, stop saying that you weren't at that show and that Jane was there. Because, it's, it's first of all, it's not funny. Second of all, you were there, I saw you. You tried to attack me, okay? You tried to attack me, Georgia? Do you remember that? Because I do. I was there. And you know what? You were there, too. You were there, Georgia. Okay, you were there. And let's just start to admit it. That's the first step. If you admit that you were there, then you you were there, okay? Then you will realize you, you were present in the room, okay? That's the first step. The second step is I'm happy to, to send you through the mail some Xanax or some Ambien even, okay? Something to just really calm down your nerves. Um, thank you. Stay tuned. I love you, Sherry. I asked for the censorship issue. I don't even know. Um, I actually didn't even know what that word meant. I had to ask Thomas. Okay, he Wikipedia'd it for me. He told me what it meant, and now I know. I'm still a little bit confused, but if I am correct, it means that Klaus wanted to stop me from expressing myself. He wanted to say, "Uh, uh, uh no, erase this. Pretend this didn't happen." Essentially, what I, you know what it is? I wish I could stick him in my fireworks and just erase his, his, you know what area? And then just set him back into his office and see how that feels. Because my, my, my sexual orientation is my identity. As I'm sure his is too, since he is German. Um, you know, I don't feel offended that he tried to turn the lights out on me. I think it was a beautiful thing, okay? Besides the fact that I tripped and fell and hurt my knee. Uh, but my knee is fine. Huh? Oh. Uh, my knee is fine. Okay. Um, I think Klaus, I don't know if you're married, if you have children, or what your deal is. Okay. But, I think you need to pay attention to the fact you have a lot of ghosts in your closet. Got a lot of monsters under your bed. A lot of M&Ms in your briefcase. You know what I'm saying? Like those M&Ms that sit there for many years and you just don't even think about taking them out. Fell out of the package in your bag. Amongst all your papers and your pencils. Your paper clips. That's what you are, Klaus. Okay. You went and you pulled that plug so quick, okay? And you have released a statement, and I have read it, even though T had to explain that to me. You use such big words nowadays. And I don't even really care about all this nonsense. I've just been told by my management team that I need to address it. The point is, you're a coward, Klaus. You and Sarvia Larvia, okay? You're both cowards. You both should wear dunce caps and be put your nose in the corner from what you from what you two did together, okay? And Sarvia Larvia, don't you pretend like you didn't do nothing wrong. Because you did. Okay? You did. You tried to censor me too. That's right. You know you did. Okay? Don't front. Don't front with Sherry because I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Okay? I come from the hood. I don't come from the rich suburban areas like y'all. Okay? I, I wasn't a product of two wealthy parents that didn't pay enough attention to me. 
And that's why I got to make art. Because I'm tortured. I ain't tortured and I never have been. That's why I got so much light to shed. Clouts, get it together. Okay? I prefer church over PS1, frankly. And frankly, I don't think it's called PS1 anymore. I think it's called PS2. Why? Because you're number two now, buddy. Sherry's number one. And I will be, okay? Let's have a battle. Can you even break dance? You're probably too tall. Clouts. If you want to have a real discussion, let's meet at McDonald's. Okay, where they have free Wi Fi, 99 cent ATMs. Um, and we can have a discussion, a real heart to heart, woman to man. Okay? And you can tell me the real reason why you tried to shut me down. Okay? There was no violence happening in there. The only violence was Sarvia Larvi and her girlfriend trying to tell Georgia Sagri to beat me up. Okay? And you went and turned the lights off. Okay, I had a friend in a wheelchair that was there. <laughs> I had a friend in a wheelchair that was there that couldn't find their blind pole. <laughs> and you know what? That's really not funny. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen, Larts. <laughs> She was in her wheelchair trying to find her blind pole so she could get up and stand up and be, <laughs> and be a part of the festivities. Her blind pole was underneath her wheelchair and the lights were out and people were screaming. Okay? And she couldn't hear me because I had no mic clouts. Okay? Remember that? I had no mic while you were back in your office searching for the breaker. Ooh, shaking in your Jimmy pants. Figuring out how am I going to cut this crazy lady off? Clouds. Here's the thing. My friend was in real danger. She was in a wheelchair. Blind as a bat. Listening to the sound of my voice. So she could seek refuge. Because I am her friend. Okay? She came to see me perform. We go to church together. Playing the bell choir. And she could not seek me out, Clouds. Because I was none to be heard. Because I got silenced. By the big man in town. Okay, Clouds? That's right. I want you to remember this. See these eyes? These are eyes of truth. Okay? Thank you owe my friend, Tina, an apology. I'll give you her email. Tina at tinatree.com She's blind and she's crippled. And you shut the lights out on her. You tried to silence her. If she weren't silenced enough already, Clouds. You know what I like to do? Play paintball with you and Sarvia Larvia and George Os o Osagri. I like to play paintball with you. But instead of paintball, I like to sh shoot out Sherry's tampons. Okay? Right into your muzzle so I shut you all up. Okay, thank you. Going to bed now. Thank God. I'm done. For now. Thank you, T. That's right, I'm still looking at you. <laughs> Don't forget this face right here. Yeah, we have DVDs for sale. On the website, we've got some really great hits right now. There's a new DVD called Ben's DVD. And it was a commission video um, for a guy that's just like a total freak. Uh, freak meaning freaky, pornographic, sexual. Um, it's a very cool video. Some of my good friends from high school are in it. Um, check that one out. we got some sales going on. Our t-shirt's about to be on sale. we got a new uh, Sherry Abrams video. Very good video. Um, check out all our stuff. We've got some really cool stuff on the site right now. Some cakes, homemade cakes. Um, check us out, annelivyoung.com. Got my own site. I got my own, I got my own, uh, space on the site. So, P.S. You tried to censor me. Some people think you did censor me. But I went out on the street after the show was over. My blood dripping down my legs, and I sold 14 DVDs. 
on Jackson and that other street I said I would be on. Okay? There were fans waiting for me out there. One of them had my pee pan. Okay? She's going to take it home with her. I do have fans. I do have people that care about me. There may be hate mail and Facebook hates and people posing to be me and all this nonsense. But you know what? The only make me stronger. The only make me blonder. Okay? The only make me sweeter. 14 fans times 4 times 10. That's $140. It's more than I got paid to do the Brooklyn is Burning PS1. Crap gig. Shit in a pan. Talk about bad press. Making me look like a damn gorilla. Okay? I'm not a gorilla. I'm a human being. With real feelings, real emotions. Okay, I'm not an artist. So I appreciate if you quit calling me that, clouds. Okay? If I'm going to be in the art world, I would rather be considered a watercolor painter. Because that is something I know how to do well. I have two up in my living room. Okay? Clouts. Better than anything I've seen in your museum. Okay, I did them when I was 14. Beat that. Ain't selling them for no $30,000, Clouds. Could have given me more than $50 for the PS1 show if you're making that much money. Okay? You making 30000 per little cube you put in your museum? I'll show you some cubes. Coming right at your noggin. Not to mention... I don't care only about money. I also care about desire, passion, many other things that I'm not going to mention here today because I don't feel like it. But I will say one last piece, and that is I hope you don't censor your wife like you censor me, Clouds. Or whoever, your boyfriend. Okay? I'm racially and sexually progressive. Everyone knows that. But you got to give people room to speak. Okay? Like I did. I, I, I said, Georgia, you are the artist. Explain to me what you did. Nobody talks about that in the press, do they? Sarvia Larvia. No, because you were too busy sticking your finger in your girlfriend's coochie pop. I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. Um, where was I? That's right. Uh, Georgia, if I see you on the street, just stay away from me. At least 10 feet, okay? I have two pit bulls, and you did smell, so they'll be able to smell you. Okay, I'm sure cloud smells too. Like I said, these European people usually stink. Okay. Me, I wear many types of perfume just in case I have an odor. Nobody can smell it. Nobody can track me down. Okay. One thing I would recommend to you, Georgia, is purchasing one of my tampons off my, my site because it has the power of sherry. I think you need more confidence. If you had more confidence in yourself, you wouldn't have to come at me and attack. You wouldn't need your friends to be the bullies to say, Ooh, I have an idea. Run out of the room three times and then run back and try to kill her. We ain't in third grade no more, girlfriend. We ain't, okay? I think I've said enough on this video here. I'm about to fall asleep. Thank you to everyone who's listened to me and not just shut me off. Okay? Just put me on pause or just put me in the trash. And if you did that, don't worry. I'll pop right back out of your trash and get in your inbox. Because that's what I'm capable of with these, with these baby blues. 
Look into them. Okay? If I could, I would turn Sarvia Larvia into stone right now. In Georgia, I would projectile send you sleepy juice. In clouds, I would give you a vagina. Thank you. Hello. I'm back again. Decided to go for another strategy with my video. I feel okay calling it video art now that I've been written about as an artist. Even though, like I said, I don't appreciate the token term. But I guess what I'm saying is that I want it to be more relatable. People like Sarvia Larvia and Clouds and Georgia Segri. And I figured if I wore a mask, they could understand me more because they wear a mask every day. Now I'm not talking about a rabbit mask. I'm talking about an